Well, it's not matters of entertainment that we're speaking about this morning. We're speaking about pageantry. Yes, yes, indeed we are. Because South Africa can now boast a Miss Mini Model World finalist. Ten-year-old Otlozi Mudise was crowned first runner-up at the competition in the Dominican Republic last month. She competed against 30 other candidates from around the globe and bagged a number of accolades. And she joins us now to share her experience as well as a Miss Teen Universe South Africa National Director, Ndombi Gumete. Thank you so much, ladies, for the both of you for joining us. A very good morning to you. Good morning. Perhaps Perhaps it's sort of with why we're here, the actual princess herself. Uh, Ulfruzi, just talk to us a little bit about the pageant. I mean, what is Miss Mini Model World Finest? What is it about Miss Mini World, the actual pageant? Well, Mini Model World is about beauty and social action. So beauty means having a kind heart, a body and the spirit. Because um, beauty is like also a feeling because if you feel beautiful, you will attract beautiful things. Ah, yeah. so it's about baking, living almost, uh, living or leaving a legacy. Yes, it okay. is. Okay, and, and what legacy do you want to leave? I want to inspire young children to believe in themselves as I advocate for elevating child hunger through nutrition. So you are very passionate about elevating child hunger? Yes, I am. Okay, and then how do you see yourself, how do we solve the world? Or how do we solve the country against child hunger? I mean, how do we help people when it comes to child hunger? Well, sometimes I like to talk to my mom about it. Mm -hmm. Then we plan like charity events. Then we cook some soup sometimes to donate to other people that don't have food. Yeah. Well, mostly children because I love children. <laughs> She's 10 years old and she loves children. <laughs> it, can't be, it can't be any more sweeter <laughs> than that. Dobi, but just talk to us a little bit about um, the importance of pageantry. You know, I, I look at, for example, Uthlutz, and she's 10 years old. You know, she's already been exposed to an international uh, stage. And that can't be easy for a 10-year-old. Yes, you make friends and it's fun. But there's so much work that goes in behind it, you know. And, and how important is it um, and how literally significant is it to be able to expose kids to, to pageantry at such a young age? I mean, are there benefits and pros and cons? Just take us through it. <laughs> Yes, there are so many benefits uh, for, for young girls like getting involved in pageantry. Um, for an example, if we take Othlote, she started pageantry as young as five years old. Sure. So I myself as a person consider this as a sport as well. As much as people like don't seem to understand the passion and uh, the passion behind pageantry. So young girls, they get to get involved in pageantry and then it helps them in terms of um, self-confidence, making friends, uh, like reaching out to those who I need as well because pageantry is uh, mainly about charity as mm. well. It's not only about being beautiful and working on stage, it's about giving back to the community. So we start them young that you know it's very much to be involved in the community. It's very much to make a difference as a person wherever you can. Yeah. How then do you start shielding children from the competitiveness of it? Because as much as it's about um, social uh, issues and being able to highlight some of those social injustices and hopefully solve for those social injustices, a lot of it the kids focus around beauty. Mm -hmm. And in the real context, not all kids are nice kids. Some kids can be mean, <laughs> right? Some kids can, not all kids are nice, right? That's yeah. why there's something called school bullying, because mm -hmm. there are bullies in school, right? Mm -hmm. So how then do you start shielding the likes of Uthlutsi, for example, from bullies, from kids that are mean, from kids that are competitive, from kids that are overly focused and stimulated by just beauty? Lucky enough, they go through coaching. Most of my girls, like not most of my girls, all my girls, they go through coaching. Mm. So in terms of coaching, it's not only about walking the ramp, but we also have like life coaches involved. And we also work with um, social workers as well, because we know that um, it starts from the heart. You know, for, for a person to be a bully, there has to be a background somewhere yeah. where that person was particularly maybe disturbed in a way. And then they try to act on it. So we always try by all means that they are in a good space and they are well taken care of and that they are they do have time to be children as well. Right now she's wearing a crown and a sash. Uh, like 10 minutes ago, she had no crown, no sash. So she was herself, basically. Mm. So it's like 90 percent of the time she's a child and then 10 percent of the time she's a beauty queen that she's supposed to be. And what does it mean being a beauty queen? Just talk to us a little bit about that, Rishwati. Well, being a beauty queen means like having fun, but also being yourself at the same time. Mm. Because you can't change yourself if you want to be a beauty queen. 
you have to be yourself and yeah yeah and and i know that you had fun at the dominican republic tell me about your trip there it was nice and i think it was really special to me and i'm really proud of myself because i was like the only girl in south africa and the in Af in the african continent oh you were the only one in africa <laughs> yes yeah, to yeah. present so it was really special to me and i and I really love being a beauty queen. <laughs> you really love being a beauty queen. Yes. That is absolutely extra special. And and did you get a chance to make friends with, with some of the yes, other girls? Yes, I did. Yeah, and, and how was it relating with it? Because it's different cultures, right? It's a yes, different it cultures, is. different languages, different ways of doing things. How did you relate with the other girls? Well, how I related with the other girls, like we started playing um, Spanish games with our hands. So it was really hard for me, but luckily I pick up fast. So they really taught me, and it was really nice spending time with the other girls. Yeah, and it's absolutely beautiful because then you, you start fostering um, a, a space for them to become Miss Teen, and then to go into Miss South Africa, and then to go into Miss World, and then Miss Universe, and, 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 and the like, and being able to almost expose yourselves to, to the great opportunities that are involved. If parents are listening to this and, and they're thinking, mm, my child has been bothering me for the longest time to get involved in, in some kind of pageantry, you know, because you've got little girls that are like five years old that walk the ramp in the dining room. So how, how then do you start encouraging and even, um, you know, speaking to those parents? what do they do uh, I would say the first step will be identifying the right coach for your child because you will definitely need somebody that's gonna be there for the child and supportive of the child so at this point in time there are so many coaches out there some of them are okay some of them mm -hmm. you know like taking chances you know so it's very important as a parent to be selective as to who do you expose your child to so that's the advice that I can give them. And then from there, they can just take a step as to which pageant they would want to go for. And then step by step, because I believe it's every young girl's dream, as we did mention, that all of them are wanting to be Miss Universe one day, like pageant girls. I believe also they would want to be Miss Universe one day. So Do you? Do you want to be Miss Universe one day? <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, yes, you do. It's the crown. It's the mm. crown. My whole team is fascinated by the crown that is on her head right now. So <laughs> she might have to leave her crown behind so we can have turns wearing it. Uh, but it is really, it's about encouraging mm. young people to, yeah. to be able to expand their horizons and to really start thinking. And thank you so much for joining us in the studio. And congratulations to you too, Lutzi. I can't you. wait to see you being Miss Universe. Hopefully I won't be that old when I see you being Miss Universe <laughs> and I can still see you. Uh, but um, all the best with your, with your future endeavors. And you must wear your sash very proudly. You must show them, everybody at home, about your sash there. There we have it. Uh, young Ushlozi Mudise, um, they're being crowned. Um, the first runner-up, by the way, at the Miss Mini Model World.